All right, so here's my TD helmet. First off, I'm going to show you you have uh, one of the Hobie mics. These are actually Hobie mic slash speakers. Got them from High Tech Toys off eBay. I left any, uh, a link to his website where you can contact him if you want to purchase them. Or you can just run an external speaker, whatever you want. This is just for the ROM FX unit. Inside the helmet, Let's see if I can get enough light in here. First off, start off with two fans. So we got two forward fans. Um, I consider those my intake fans, where they pull in the cooled air from uh, where there's, there's more room up here in the front of the helmet than there is in the back, so at least on my helmet. This is an ATA helmet, by the way. So show you that everything can fit inside these helmets. No problem. So let me uh, angle down a little bit so I can get a little bit more light in here. So I got two forward facing fans. You guys can tell I got an echo bracket. Of course, these are like uh, all the rage right now. I love it. Just the fact uh, it's, it has great functionality. Not only can I uh, put multiple power switches in this thing, it also conceals all my wiring, as you can tell. And if you've seen my post, you'll notice I have a crap load of wires that uh, power this thing. So, um, not too bad, but that's you know, my opinion, I guess. So, on this particular echo bracket, uh, I requested that he send me... Uh, these are my fans that I supplied, by the way. The only thing I had him supply me was just a bracket. And I told him to send me a bunch of extra switches. So, I purchased just two brackets, one for my TD and one for my TK. And then I've actually got multiple switches for each helmet. Um, the switch on the left, the switches on the left side, uh, one switch will power uh, one forward facing fan and one exhaust fan. And then the other switch will power the other two. On this side of the helmet, I have a power switch for the hearing aid and then a power switch for the ROM FX unit. Hopefully, this is well focused. And as you can tell, even though there's quite a bit of electronics in here, I still have plenty of room to move my head around. My hair doesn't get caught in anything. It's, 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 uh, it works really well for me. Um, I'll elaborate on this little device here. It's just an amplifier. It's from my TK Chatter. Um, I'll get into that a little bit later. Um, but I want to focus on this little unit right here. That is basically my 8-pin Mini Den female connector that is similar to that of my uh, power supply. Basically, the exact same setup, just wires going to different locations. Uh, so the wiring comes out of the A-pin mini den, goes through a little Velcro, uh, double-sided Velcro where it's secured, and it's actually riveted in here. So it's permanently fixed, travels behind the echo bracket, and then travels to the electronics that it feeds. It actually goes through the switches first, and then goes to the electronics that it feeds. And I think that's about it with a helmet and electronics. Um, next video, I'll elaborate a little bit more on the ROM FX and the hearing aid.